Black Pagoda Konark is one of the well-known tourist attractions of Orissa. Konark houses a colossal temple dedicated to the sun god. Even in its ruined state, it is a magnificent temple reflecting the genius of architects that envisioned and built it. Bodhisattva Zudo Temple is near the Zianzangya waterfalls and in the valley of Zudo Mountain. The temple, so to speak, is embraced by green mountains on all four sides and girded by single springs all around. The temple was the favorite of several generations of emperors of the Song dynasty who issued successively some 40 imperial edicts to the temple to its great honor. Brihadishwara Temple, one of the most spectacular pieces of South Indian architecture with respect to Vijayanagara and Pallava kingdoms is the Brihadishwara Temple in Tanjavur. Looking at it, one has to redefine the normal notions of size. The Vimana or the center tower of the temple is visible from quite a distance away. The temple took 12 years to complete. Brindavan Gardens these gardens are laid on the banks of Krishna Raja Sagar Dam. Spread over vast area, the terraced lawns and fountains make these gardens one of the best in South India. The swirling fountains are illuminated on weekend and have given backdrop to many movies in recent times. The dancing fountains called as musical fountains are major attraction among the tourists. Buland Darwaza this colossal triumphal arch was built in 1575 on the southern wall of the courtyard. It celebrates Akbar's conquest of Gujarat. The towering portal has a height of 176 feet from ground level and 134 feet over the top step. The grand recessed central arch is the most magnificent of its kind in the entire range of Mohal architecture in India. Charminar Charminar was built in 1591 by Muhammad Qudub Shah. It's a beautiful structure with four intricately carved minarets. A beautiful mosque is located at the western end of the open roof. The Charminar is a square edifice with four grand arches, each facing a cardinal point. At each corner stands an exquisitely shaped minaret more than 55 meters high with a double balcony. Chennakesava Temple. Some of the most magnificent specimens of South Indian temples are those attributed to the Hoysala dynasty of Karnataka. At a distance of about 220 kilometers from the metro city of Bangalore, Belur is considered as the Benares of South and this is also known as, as the Dakshina Varanasi. Chilka Lake the Chilka Lake in Orissa is Asia's largest inland saltwater lagoon. Studded with small islands, including the picturesquely named Honeymoon Island and Breakfast Island, the lake is separated from the Bay of Bengal by sandy ridges. Chilka, in fact, is home to one of the world's largest breeding colonies of flamingos. Dal Lake The Dal Lake is a famous lake in Srinagar, Kashmir, India. The lake itself is connected to a number of other lakes of the valley. It is known for its shikaras or houseboats. The lake spans 18 square kilometers and is divided by causeways into four basins called Gagribal, Lokat Dal, Bodh Dal and Nagin. Elephanta Caves the Elephanta Caves are a great tourist attraction in the vicinity of large Mumbai metropolis. The Elephanta Island is located 10 kilometers away from the gateway of India at Mumbai. These caves house rock-cut temples dating back to the 5th century. The Elephanta Island was so named by the Portuguese after the statue of an elephant near the landing area of the island. Elora Caves 
These 34 monasteries and temples, extending over more than 2 kilometers, were dug side by side in the wall of a high basalt cliff not far from Aurangabad in Maharashtra. Ellora, with its uninterrupted sequence of monuments dating from AD 600 to 1000, brings the civilization of ancient India to life.